Hey everybody, it's Matt here. Uh, just wanted to uh, share a quick video on adding the powered up motor uh, and hub to the back of the TV. Um, sorry, this is my first video, so uh, bear with me on it. Um, so using the power up app, obviously we can adjust the speed and the time it runs. Um, pretty easy app, I just learned how to, uh, to do it today. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here so we can take a look at the mechanism on the side and the back. Um, I'll just move the system over here. So as we turn this to the side, you wanna notice that the profile is pretty on point with the side of the TV. You don't want a whole lot of motors hanging off of it because then it would just look weird. So I opted for the gears and adding the motor behind. So as we turn it around, you can see that the motor itself is actually attached to the outside of the TV here. I have three gears involved, and then I have some Technic uh, uh, through rods and spacers that actually help it all align properly. Uh, the, the actual hub itself is really cool. It's actually in the back of the TV here, and I felt like it was a perfect spot because if you actually take this off, it actually just sits right on this little platform, which is fantastic. So, and I was able to actually run the cord through here. Um, one of the pieces you had to, that I had to take out was one of these, which is which is pretty easy. And then obviously the crank. Uh, so the pieces I've added, obviously, um, I added a, a couple pieces here, just uh, some one by twos, a, a two by two slope, and then another one here. It's kind of just what I had, just kind of lying around. So you can put that back on. And then for, for the gear right here, so there's a couple pieces that I had to add that have uh, technicals in it to accommodate this gear. I uh, just wanted to touch on something on the gear uh, uh, scenario here. So if you have three gears, the middle gear is always going to spin the opposite of the other gear. So in, in this case, and this is what you need to be aware of if you're adding gears to this, is that obviously this can only go one way because there's a locking mechanism. You wanna make sure you're, you're, that it's turning the right way. So if this gear needs to move clockwise, this gear is gonna move counterclockwise, which means this gear is the one that connected to your motor needs to also move clockwise. So make sure that that is happening, otherwise you may damage the system. So if you wanted to just take the gear off, you can actually run this manually too. So if we just kind of slip this off real quick, you can actually add uh, the manual lever. Sorry, you can actually add it back on and then all you'd have to do is just act like you're normally using it. And then if you want to replace the gear, it's pretty simple. You would just stick it right back on. And that is it. So go ahead and play with your, play the function there. And you can adjust the speed too. Generally, I, I think somewhere between 35 and and 45 on here is probably a good speed. Um, you may you may be able to go faster, but I thought this was just a good cranking speed. So it's up to you what you want to do. Let me know how uh, how yours looks. I mean, I'm sure there are ways that you can you can put this motor back down in this that this part of the TV. Um, although I, I didn't feel like I was able to do that with the with the current parts that I have. Uh, but there are probably ways you can do it if you're a little more um, more of a master builder than I am. But this is a simple simple add-on. Probably won't take more than 10 minutes to do. And like I said, these were the only pieces that I had to take off. Um, the pieces that were actually here on this on this back part, uh, I just added it back here. Um, you can actually probably put pieces around this to black it out to make it look a little more sleek if you left it here. But it's up to you, just preference. I mean, generally you're gonna have it in display. It's not gonna be visible. I mean, it's gonna be in the back of the TV. So don't really worry about that. Um, and, uh, and that's about it. So let me know what you think and I will see you soon. Thanks, bye.